Yes, guys. Uh, welcome back to the demo. In this demo, I will be showing you how we can connect to an Azure Virtual Desktop, Azure Virtual Desktop, from your on-premise credentials. So here I have an on-premise server which is already synchronized. And if you check out my previous videos, I have shown you how to synchronize from on-premise to your Azure. And also I have showed you how to use AD Connect. Now this is the third video which we will be going further more one step where we will see how to connect with your on-premise credential to an Azure Virtual Desktop. Let's begin. This is the user which I'm going to sync uh, which I'm going to log in. I'm going to reset the password for now. Yes, then I will go to Azure AD and see whether that user is there or is already there. And the password is also updated. As you can see guys, this user is from on-premise and you can see my on premise server name my lab.local so here I have created a host pool for my AVD as you can see I have uh, groups I have a uh, host pool workspaces I have created a workspace and I have assigned the user this is that user I have assigned. Only this user can log into this AVD Azure Virtual Desktop and upgrade the resource group. Also, I have a VNet virtual network because we need a virtual network to connect to your Azure Virtual Desktop. Let's see what are the permissions on my resource group that is required. Go to access control. I'll type virtual desktop user login. I'll type virtual machine user login. Yes, virtual user machine user login. Click next. Add the members. Select members. Select the user. Well, I have already added this user, so it will give me an error. Yeah, so I'll view my access. If you see view my access, yes, I have virtual machine user login assigned to this user. So there's no problem. The user can log in. Let's go ahead and log in. I'll open my remote desktop client. Here you go. I'm going to open the session desktop. Uh, key in the password which is updated password I'm not going to remember the password there you go now we are logged in to our virtual desktop using our on-premise credentials let's do a quick speed test and see how much is the bandwidth inside of this virtual desktop so yes guys it's 750 mbps which is very good 
let's do a comparison of from our local machine this is my local machine I'm going to do a comparison from my local machine it's just I think it's 11 okay let's see how it is it's 11 mbps so it's around from Azure Virtual Desktop it's 750 mbps and uh, yeah your local machine is gives you only 11 me me megabytes per second which is very low yeah guys um, so this is very good and uh, as you can see you will get good performance your users will be very happy when they are using virtual desktop especially using their own credentials using their own azure uh, sorry using their own active directory credentials which they are using on premise yes guys uh, this concludes the video so on my next video i am uh, i'm trying i will try to do uh, i to try to create a vpn connection from my azure virtual desktop to my on premise uh, network so that I can share the resources like a shared local shared drive, a NAS box, perhaps to this virtual desktop, and then you know I will try to push some applications, line of business applications, and then uh, we'll see how it works. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.